So Hunter Biden's text messages and emails and videos are all out there on the internet for the world to see, and that is a pretty major invasion of privacy. We will concede that. How would you like your text messages to get out there in public? On the other hand, they probably wouldn't be quite as interesting as Hunter Biden's. And on balance, we're glad to see them because we're learning a lot about the Biden family's business arrangements with China, and they are extensive. But we're also learning about what the Biden family is like, and boy, are they repulsive. We learned, among other things, what Hunter Biden thinks of the family matriarch, and that would, of course, be America's doctor, Dr. Jill. Now, The Sun is reporting that in one text message, Hunter Biden once described his stepmother, that would be the first lady of the United States, as we're quoting now, a vindictive moron. He also called her the bad word, which we can't use on TV, but it's the bad one, the one you can't use even at home. Use that word. But what about vindictive moron? Is that true? Well, we did a little research, and it turns out, yeah, it's true. She's a vindictive moron. Now, we know she's a moron because we read her doctoral thesis. And that proves, among other things, that she can't do simple math. And if you don't believe that, here's one excerpt. And we're quoting. Three quarters of the class will be Caucasian. One quarter of the class will be African-American. One seat will hold a Latino. And the remaining seats will be filled with students of Asian descent or non-resident aliens. How many percentage points is that? Now, later on in the thesis, the doctoral thesis, why she's Dr. Jill, she miscalculates private and public sector school enrollment by more than, let's see, 200 percentage points. Now, you might be tempted to dismiss all of that. Maybe she wrote her thesis in 10 minutes on the subway, knowing that no one at the University of Delaware would dare correct it. And of course, they didn't. And that would explain the hundreds of typos in her thesis. But you don't need to believe her thesis to know that Dr. Jill is, in fact, in the words of Hunter Biden himself, her son, a moron, because we have videos of her speaking. Here was Dr. Jill yesterday at something called the Latinx Inclusion Luncheon in San Antonio, Texas. Raul helped build this organization with the understanding that the diversity of this community, as distinct as the Bogas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio, Yes, I'm not patronizing you, Latinx people, but you're all tacos. Just all tacos. That's what the First Lady said. Now, the National Association of Hispanic Journalists, which presumably supports the Biden administration, decided they had to explain some things very slowly to Dr. Jill. Among others, they said this, quote, using breakfast tacos to try and demonstrate the uniqueness of Latinos demonstrates a lack of cultural knowledge. We are not tacos. <laughs> we are not tacos. Okay. So uh, Jill Biden realized, whoa, maybe we shouldn't call them tacos. So her press secretary, a publicist, put out a statement doing a little damage control. Quote, the first lady apologizes that her words conveyed anything but pure admiration and love for the Latino community. Wait a second, Jill Biden, Dr. Jill. The Latino community? What happened to the Latinx community? Was that the whole point of the luncheon to tell Latinos that actually they're Latinx? Degender your language, sexist Latinos. Well, the truth is, for a long time, connecting with the Latinx community has strained every ounce of intellect that Jill Biden has to offer, which is limited, as we noted. Here was Jill Biden a year ago speaking to union workers in California. This is one of the greatest moments ever caught on camera. So pause, turn the volume up on your set and enjoy. Anything is possible. So say it with me. See, si, say, Padre. <laughs> Si, <laughs> say padres, padres, or something. As Cesar Chavez used to say, si, say padres. He couldn't speak Spanish either. Don't you worry. So Dr. Jill's a moron. Hunter Biden was absolutely right. But is she vindictive too? That's the outstanding question. Hunter called her a vindictive moron. Moron, yes, vindictive. Jury's still out. Well, now we know. A few days ago, Jill Biden wrote on Twitter that women, quote, have the right to make our own decisions about our bodies. Of course, not with the vax, but with abortion. So reading this, retired Lieutenant General Gary Valesky, a former Army spokesman who mentored soldiers, responded this way, quote, glad to see you finally know what a woman is. Well, guess what happened to General Valesky? He got suspended. And now he's being investigated by the U.S. Army, which has no problem with China, but they're very concerned that someone might criticize Dr. Jill. So Hunter Biden was right, and we're just going to say it out loud. Hunter Biden was right about Dr. Jill. Vindictive moron.